Do you want to get involved in the stock market but you have absolutely no idea where to start or how to begin? You don't know what type of account to create or who to create an account with or how to buy your first stock. My younger sister came to me the other day and said, hey, I want to get involved in the stock market and invest some money but I have no clue where to start. So I then did the typical big brother thing, pulled out my portfolio and said, hey, look how easy it is. Look at this high growth stock I've got. Look at this dividend stock that's paid me last month. Look at this current value of this. This stock has gone up 20%, etc., etc." et, cetera, et cetera. It's so easy, right? Then I saw the confused look on her face and she said, bro, I have no clue what all this means. Maybe you should make a video on that. I will definitely watch it. So here I am, sis. This video is just for you and others out there who need a practical step-by-step -step video. I will create a trading account from scratch and buy one stock to show you guys exactly how it's done. Also, I want to make sure anyone can follow this video and replicate what I'm doing. So in this video, I'll open a trading account for my sister so that way I can show you guys each of the steps and how a trading account looks like when it's first open so you guys don't miss a thing. And in return, all I ask for is if you can smash that like button for the YouTube algo and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel to see more videos on personal finance and investing. I've been working in the banking industry for some of the world's global companies here in London for almost 10 years now. And I'm now trying to share my knowledge with you guys but also learn because you just never stop learning. So make sure you guys check out my other videos, leave a comment or ask questions. I will try to respond to every single one of them. Okay, let's quickly run through the agenda for this video. So the first thing we do is going to choose a trading app or a broker. This is really important because there are different brokers for different types of investors. You know, some have charges, some don't, some have limited options or stock and some have many options and many stocks to choose from. But don't worry, I'll try to advise what the best broker is for complete beginners. The second thing we're going to do is going to go into the practical part of the video and we're going to open an account. So I'll go through each of the steps. As I mentioned, I'll open an account for my sister. So I'll go through it exactly how I do that. In the third part of the video, we're going to start talking about some of the stock market basics. So once we've created that account, there's some basic things you need to know about, you know, what markets you can invest in or buy stocks from, what uh, share prices, what market cap is, some of the basic terminology that you guys should know before you start your investment journey. And then lastly, we're going to go ahead and buy a stock and show you each of the steps for doing that too. And that's it. Hopefully by the end of the video, you have some basic understanding of how to create an account, how to buy a stock and some basic understanding of the stock market in general. Right, let's get started. So guys, the first thing you want to do is figure out how you want to play the stock market. Now in my mind, there are two types of people who play the stock market. The first type of person is an investor. An investor looks at long-term gains. The second type of person is a trader and a trader looks at the short-term gains. Okay, so let me explain both. So as an investor, you're probably looking to buy a company or buy a stock which you're going to hold for a long period of time in the hopes that this company is going to grow, perform well and become this, you know, become a huge, huge company one day and the share price is going to reflect that. Okay, and so when you come to selling it after a number of years, five or 10 years or whatever it is, you're going to get a big fat return. So that's how investors play the game. Now traders, on the other hand, they look for the short term gains. So um, day traders, for example, they will try to make a profit every single day try and find buying opportunities so for example if a stock is dipping to try and buy at the dip and if, and if that stock bounces back and increases the value then to try and sell okay and they're usually trying to make two or three percent or more than that you know every single time they do a trade now you can imagine if they're making two to three percent uh, multiple times a day then that can add up to some serious money depending on how much you put in but that is the role of a day trader and um, a trader is trying to make money every single day but be aware guys if you're going to go down the trading route then be prepared to lose money because it's very very difficult to make money every single day you can get lucky or you can do very well some days but you know there's gonna be a lot of times where you're going to lose money so be prepared to do that what day traders or traders in general tend to do is they tend to you know measure themselves month for month okay so um please make sure if you do go down that route then try to measure yourself measure yourself month for month to see how well you're doing and if you're not making profit if it's not working out for you then just just give it up you're probably better off investing now if you're going to go down the investing route and you're a complete beginner and you're completely new to it then what i highly recommend do guys is go look into index funds ETFs okay now what is an index fund ETF now basically that is a way to invest into one fund and that fund invests into multiple companies all by itself so you don't have to do any of the hard work of picking the tip the picking the companies or picking the stocks that fund does all that work for you for example the S&P 500 index fund invests into the top 500 US companies that's Amazon Apple, all these companies you get a small chunk of, okay, and um, through one fund, okay, so it's a much easier way to invest. I invest the bulk of my money, the bulk of my money into index funds, and I just try to build that pot up as much as possible because it's very, very hard to be a trader. I much prefer to be an investor. 
Right guys, let's get started. So we want to talk about what kind of broker we want to create an account with. Okay, so I've got a list here of some of the top brokers or some of the top accounts you can create here in the UK today. So let's start with the beginner app. So we've got Trading212, which is a completely free, commission-free trading platform. So that means basically you can buy or sell stocks for completely free. You won't get charged whatsoever. Okay, we've also got Free Trade, which is another commission-free trading platform. We've also got Stake, which is another commission-free trading platform, but you can only buy US stocks or no UK stocks with them. And then we move on to the intermediate to advanced um, and brokers like Hargis Lansdowne. Now Hargis Lansdowne, they charge you a fee of I think £11.95 for every single trade, but they're for more advanced users, people with probably larger sums of money to invest or to trade with, because there's a lot more options there, there's a lot more stocks on offer, just better for more advanced users and more advanced experienced traders. We've got IG, which is another one, it's got over 10,000 or something like that, stocks on offer, etc. So there's a lot more in depth depth um, um, options and features there and we also got eToro which has this new platform where you can copy traders so you can copy or mimic other traders and copy what they're doing and um, so it's got that kind of feature in there too they're also a commission-free trading platform as well but um, they're a bit more complicated than trading 212 and free trade to use in this video we're going to create a trading 212 account so let's go ahead and do that right now right guys so step one download the trading 212 app from play store or the app store okay and then the second step is you want to create the account now i recommend you create the account on the web browser not through the app and the reason why I do I recommend that is because you can use a promotional referral link to create your account and that way you and I both got a free stock worth up to a hundred pounds so make sure you guys do that I've got a link in the description in the video description below so make sure you guys do that so I'm gonna quickly show you how that's done so here's one of the videos so the link looks like something like this so just copy that link okay and go into your web browser paste it in hit enter and now you've got this trading 212 come up and up here it says you were invited to trading 212 invest get a free share worth up to 100 pounds okay so now we know and um, through this we can get a free share up to worth up to 100 pounds so let me click on open account real money country of residence united kingdom okay so name we'll just say most sister i'm not going to put the real details in um but i'm going to actually create the account but I'll do it <clears throat> separately um uh, just made that number up, date of birth, whatever, February uh, 2000, okay. So next, then country where you pay taxes, United Kingdom. Next, national insurance number, okay. So I'm just gonna make one up, I've got one made up here. Okay, but make sure you put that in. Okay, click next, and then postcode codes, your residential residence. I'm just gonna put trading 212's um, postcode in, just for this example. So put that in, find address. Boots, the chemist, who cares? Confirm address. And then it comes to this bit, what type of account you're gonna create. So you can, I recommend you start off by creating a, an ISA account. So a trading to one to ISA account. The reason being is because here in the UK, we get up to 20,000 pounds completely tax-free that we can invest into the stock market. So that means any profits you make on that 20 grand every single year, you pay absolutely zero tax. I've been trading for the last two or three months and I've made like 8,000 pounds in profits through this ISA account. So on the £8,000, I have to pay no tax, no tax whatsoever. In fact, I could just withdraw that money and not even notify HMRC that I've made this money because, you know, that, that's the law. That's that's how it is. So make sure you use that allowance. So, so next. And also trading 212's ISA account is completely free, completely free. In free trade, okay, free trade, they charge you £3 per month for an ISA account. Um, other um, brokers like Hargreaves, Lansdowne, they charge you a percentage of your total investment every single year. So, you know, it, there's charges and fees there, but with Trading 2 and 2, it's completely free. Now, annual income, I'm just going to put 25 to 74K. Um, value of savings and investments, let's say between 15 and 24K, because we're only going to invest up to 20 grand. Um, just say source deposit um, savings, we're employed, um, occupation, I don't know, YouTuber. If that's even. An occupation these days yeah. um doesn't really matter creative media just making it up you just read all these but well, you don't need to read it i confirm and then you just you know create you know sign up with your email address and create the password and that's it so i've already created one for my sister right um so i'm just going to go in now and log into that uh, so I'm now logged into my sister's newly newly created ISA trading to do ISA account. Now I'm going to start here from the home page. Um, now I'm using the app instead of the web browser because the app is just so much easier to navigate. It's so much more user friendly. Okay. Here we start with the with the bottom left hand corner where it says 
the little house there. So that's like the home page. Now on the home page, we've got my watch list. So this is the, the, the watch list of stocks that you can, you know, add and delete here. The next button is this little pie chart little thing. So if you click that, now this is our portfolio. So as you can imagine, there's not much in here right now. So we've got eight pounds and 57 pence in the portfolio. In portfolio. And that's because um, I invested one pound um, when I first opened this account. I just put in one pound into the account um, just so I can get the free stock. Um, I want to just show people actually that you only need to invest one pound with this app to get a free share so i did that one pound and i got a free share called national grid worth about eight pounds and 57 pence right now so that's completely free and um, iso utilization so it's at zero percent so we've only used a little bit of our iso so um, we've only deposited nine pounds 66 pence because when you get a free stock that counts as a deposit okay so be wary of that you might try and invest twenty thousand pounds and then get a free stock um, worth up to 10 pounds or something like that and it wouldn't actually work because you've already used your ISA allowance so be careful of that okay um, get your free stock first and then you know top up the rest so we've got nine pounds sixty-seven deposit and deposited, um, which leaves nineteen thousand nine hundred ninety point three four um, of our ISA allowance left before the sixth of April, twenty twenty-one, to to uh, deposit money. Okay, so we've got that um, there. So that's your ISA utilization. As I mentioned, your portfolio. This is the actual investment. So um, this is our percentage return we've got here. So it's at minus five pence. And then here, your investments. You've got all the list of stocks that you've got. So we've only got one at the moment. But as we buy more, this this list will grow. Last thing here, this is how it goes where we search for stocks. So we can go into a search button and, and search for specific stocks. So let's say Microsoft, we can search for Microsoft, something like that. Um, or we can just look at some of these categories. So we've got stock categories here. So we've got most popular dividend stocks. We'll talk about that a bit later. We've got growth stocks, higher volatility stocks, all that sort of stuff. Um, we've also got ETFs. So if you remember at the beginning of the video, I said, um, if you're an investor and if you're quite new to it, it's better to invest into funds. Okay. And so this is where um, this comes into play. So we've got equity funds, inverse funds, all these sort of funds in there. And then finally, we've got this kind of like a profile, a settings profile, um, and we can just go through yeah, so manage funds. Okay, so we can now deposit funds. So let's go ahead now deposit funds because if you think about it, if you've just, for example, created a new bank account, let's say with Barclays and you've got your brand spanking new debit card and you can't actually go out and spend money on a debit card just yet. You can't go out and pay for groceries because you don't have any money in there yet. So you need to have money on your card or on your in your account before you can go out and buy um, groceries or, or what sorts. Okay, so it's the exact same thing when it comes to um, stocks. Okay, so you, you need to fund this um, trading account. You need to fund trading to run to the brokerage account before you can go out and buy stocks and shares. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to click on deposit funds right here. Now you can do an instant bank transfer, etc. But we do have a debit card already set up. So here's my sister's debit card. So we're going to click this one here. We're only going to invest fifty pounds today, just just for this example. So fifty pounds. We're going to click. I confirm. I'm depositing my own money and then pay. Okay. Account success funded. That's how quick it is. It's, it's, it's actually scary. I, I put like tens and tens of thousand pounds in here and it's scary how quick it is. We hit OK. If we go back to our pie chart, look at our portfolio. OK, so our portfolio hasn't moved because we haven't invested any money into the stocks. We haven't bought any stocks yet. But if you look at the top here, we've got 59.57. So we have funded our account. So if you look at free funds right here, we've got 51 pounds um, free. One pound when I first initially created the account and now 50 pounds just now. OK, so we've got 50 pounds, 51 pounds to play with to invest in the stock market. And that's it. Now we're going to move on to the second step where we're going to talk about some of the basics around the stock market and some of the terminology that you need to know before you start investing. Right, guys, let's now go through some of the basic things you want to know about the stock market before you go buy stocks and some of the basic terminologies used. Now, let's say you want to go and buy apples or pears from the supermarket. Now, that supermarket has an opening time, okay? An opening time, let's say between 9 a.m. And, and 7 p.m. Between the hours of 9 a.m. and 7 p.m., you can go to that supermarket and buy fruit and veg and all your groceries all that sort of stuff okay the same concept applies for the stock market now the stock market has different marketplaces okay and different things called exchanges now here in the uk we've got something called the london stock exchange now the london stock exchange opens at 8 a.m and it closes at 4 p.m so between the hours of 8 a.m and 4 p.m you can go out there and buy uk stocks so stocks like bp you know hsbc um lloyd's barclays all these type of uk stocks you can buy between those hours now if you want to buy us stocks now the us stocks they have a number of exchanges so let's talk about the new york stock exchange so the new york stock exchange opens at 9 a.m new york time and closes at 4 p.m new york time now that 9 a.m new york time is our 2 30 p.m 
Okay, so we can only buy US stocks between 2.30 p.m. and 9 p.m. That's when it closes in, in New York. So in our time, it's 2.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. So only between those hours, we can go out there and buy US stocks. Some people get a little bit confused about these marketplaces and, and whether they can buy stocks or not because, you know, they might wake up one morning and just, you know, try and buy, let's say, Amazon stock and they find it's not working. And that's because the market's not opened yet. So, you know, please bear in mind, you know, remember what times the marketplace is open because it's really important. Now you guys understand the marketplaces and the different exchanges out there, let's now talk about some of the specifics. All right, guys, let's go back onto the app now and let's talk through some of the key metrics you want to understand before investing. So if we go through here and let's go back onto our hourglass and search a stock, let's look at Amazon, okay? So let's start from the top. So Amazon, can see this number here, $3,118.95. That is the cost of one Amazon stock. So if you wanted to buy one Amazon share, you need to have, you need to pay $3,000 three thousand one hundred eighteen and ninety five pence okay it's a lot of money i know it's crazy amazon is ridiculous you see here markets close because it's the weekend right now we've got some company details here some you know ceo etc some key ratios okay so let's start from so, so the market cap it stands for market capitalization and that is basically that number is calculated by the number of outstanding shares multiplied by the share price so the share price is three thousand one hundred eighty dollars point nine five and if you do that calculation that gives you one point six eight trillion trillion dollars that's a t not b t trillion dollars so this is a good way of, of valuing of, of valuing a company okay so the market industry clearly highly highly values amazon because it's it says it's worth 1.68 trillion dollars which are crazy let's look at the pe ratio so the pe ratio stands for price to earnings ratio and the definition of that is it helps investors determine the market value of a stock as compared to the company's earnings. In short, the PE shows what the market is willing to pay today for a stock based on its past or future earnings. A higher PE could mean that stock's price is high relative to earnings and possibly overvalued. Conversely, a low PE might indicate that the current stock price is low relative to earnings. Okay, so in this case, the PE ratio. I think the standard in the S&P 500 is around, I think, 10 to 15, I believe, around that mark, okay? So this is 145.55. So it's a really, really high number, okay? And so based on, on this definition, a high PE could mean the stock price is overvalued. Um, there is a definite case for that, that the stock market, I mean, Amazon's stock price is extremely high. It's over $3,000. So this is this could be an indicator that the stock price is overvalued. Um, so that's one thing to bear in mind. Okay, so let's look at the next one. So e EPS earnings per share and that is basically calculated as a company's profit divided by the outstanding shares of its common stock. The resulting number serves as an indicator of a company's profitability. In the higher a company's EPS, the more profitable is considered. So the EPS sale for Amazon is $22.99 sense okay so just to give you an idea of how profitable amazon let's compare it to another stock so let's look at my amazon oh sorry microsoft's pe ratio or eps eps and it's five dollars eighty cents so it's twenty two dollars versus this five plus eighty cents so it, it, it's a, it shows that Amazon is an extremely profitable company. And that's and that's no surprise. It's no surprise to me. I mean, it, it makes total sense. Jeff Bezos is, without doubt, one of the richest men in the world right now. He is the richest man in the world right now. Um, and it is because he runs an extremely profitable company. So that's not surprising at all. Okay, the next um, ratio is dividend yield. Now, dividend yield here is um, blank, which basically means this, this stock does not offer dividends. Now, what does dividend mean? So dividend basically means that you get paid for holding a stock. It's like um, you owning a house and getting paid rent. It's the same concept here. It's the exact same concept here. So there are stocks out there that if you hold that stock and don't sell, then you get paid. You pay rent, essentially. You get paid a dividend, okay? So let's look for another company that actually does that. I believe Microsoft does. So if we scroll down to Microsoft, so yeah, dividend is 1%. So Microsoft pays out dividends. So if you were to buy a Microsoft stock every quarter or every three months or so or anything like that, you get paid a certain amount, um, a certain amount of money uh, based on the number of shares that you own and the dividend yield. It's about one percent. Now, if you guys want to watch a really cool video about how to, you know, buy certain stocks, which enables you to get a dividend payment every single month, it's a great way to make passive income. I mean, I, mean, I do it all the time. Um, then check out my video in the description below. Okay, there's a video where I do that. We can pick stocks and you get paid dividends every single month great way to make passive income so go check that out
And that's it, guys. You know, so that's some of the key ratios, some of the basic terminologies. Um, hopefully you understand that. Um, so now we're ready to go ahead and purchase a stock. So let's go do it. So I think the one I want to show you is um, Amazon because it's, it's you know, who, who doesn't want to own Amazon stock? So if we start here, now you're looking at that number, $3,118.95. It's a large number. Now I've only funded, if we go back, I've only funded into the account, I've only got 51 pounds. So can I afford this stock or not? Obviously I can't. I can't afford one share of Amazon. It's just too expensive, right? Now, What's cool about trading to do is that you can actually buy fractional shares. So what that means is that I can click buy, okay? I can hit value, so value, not number of shares, and I can put down, let me, can you purchase me 50 pounds worth of Amazon stock? And that equates to 0 0.02052 shares. And you can do that on trading to one too. It can buy, it, can, it allows you to buy fractional shares. It's competitive free trade. Free trade does not allow that. So if you want to buy Amazon on free trade, you have to have three thousand dollars at least to pay for that one stock. You can't do it over there. And there's some some other brokers out there that don't allow that. And this is completely free, completely free fractional shares. Man. So you can go go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and review order. So order type market buy. So that basically it means when the market opens, it will try and execute this trade. So right now it's a weekend, it's a Saturday, so it won't be able to execute it. So we'll go to a pending order. But when the market opens on at 2.30 p.m. Um, on Monday, it will try and execute that order. Okay, value of 50 pounds worth. So we'll buy only 50 pounds worth. Number of shares it predicts is about 0 0.0205, 0 0.02052. And the commission is free, as you know, it's commission. So let's send that buy order. Boom, done. So if we go back to our little pie chart here, and we look down here, investments, Amazon, it's got this little time pending here. So you just click on Amazon and it's going to click show us. So it's got pending orders, buy 50 pounds on the market. So when that happens, we'll be able to execute and you'll be able to see this come up on here. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys next time.